Are these people suffering the effects of the deadly nerve agent, sarin? The Times journalist who's visited apparent victims is convinced. They're frothing at the mouth, their pupils are dilated, they're in a semi-trance state, some are using repetitive limb jerking and hand movements. Uh, they've lost control of their bodies, there's a lot of twitching going on. These are all symptoms of, of a chemical attack. It's understood that samples smuggled out of Syria have been analysed at the Defence Science and Technology Lab at Porton Down in Wiltshire. This is extremely serious and I think what President Obama said was absolutely right, that this should form for the international community a red line uh, for, for us to do more. Now, I've always been keen for us to do more. We're working with the opposition. We want our allies and partners to do more with us, to shape that opposition, to make sure we're supporting people with good motives who want a good outcome, to put pressure on that regime so that we can bring it to an end. There are widespread calls for President Assad to allow United Nations inspectors to carry out a full investigation. After the experience of Iraq, there's reluctance to go off at half-cock if intelligence could prove faulty. The Labour leader, Ed Miliband, has urged caution and international unity. This morning, the Prime Minister dismissed the notion of British troops on the ground in Syria. I don't think that is uh, likely to happen. Um, but I think we can step up the pressure on the regime, work with our partners, work with the opposition uh, in order to bring about the right outcome. But we need to go on gathering this evidence and also to send a very clear warning uh, to the Syrian regime about this, these appalling actions. Mr Cameron suggested the opposition forces should be trained, mentored and helped to bring the Assad regime to an end. He described the situation as extremely frustrating. Julie Knox, Forces News.